So, in all this time that I've been talking to you guys, I've never really shown you where I where I live. So, let's do that. This is this is our house. Well, it's my girlfriend's house, really, but I I live here. Um, yeah, it's three bedroom, three ensuite bedrooms. Pretty nice. I planted these trees about two, about a year ago, and they're, they're growing pretty big. Say hi! <laughs> hi! You see, our house is, is a mess. Neither of us are uh, particularly, particularly clean. This is my little office area with my tools and <sighs> stuff. Uh, and then yeah, then my uh, my girlfriend's soap making equipment because she has a has a has an e-commerce business too. But yeah, it's nice. It's functional. Yeah, it's nice. So what do I do in the day? Uh, usually. Wake up about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, go and get a coffee, go for a little run, something like that, and then uh, start work. Another thing that I've been doing is gardening. I've got some pretty nice chilies growing here. Just need to wait for them to go red before I pick them. And then I've got a nice big lime tree. Although it keeps making little limes and then they fall off, I think it might need some nutrients. So I just got back from uh, a week's holiday with a friend in Go Samui and uh, yeah, it was pretty mental actually. Far too much fun and hedonism actually for a, for a 30 year old man. So I've come back and I am trying to clean up my act and grow up a little bit. Uh, I've quit smoking. I've been smoking for uh, 16, 16 years maybe, 15, 16 years, uh, and I'm currently on day three of of quitting cigarettes. Uh, you know, it's not actually as, as difficult as, as, as I would have thought. I have tried quitting many times before, but now I just, uh, I'm done with it. However, the, the only way that I am going to be able to quit smoking properly uh, is by quitting alcohol too for for a month. I went out with some friends last night, they were all drinking, I, uh, I just drank water. Uh, and you know what, I, I felt great, I felt great this morning. I didn't feel like I needed a cigarette, it was, it was, it was nice. I quite like this, being sober. So this area is like a, a gated community or a, a mall barn. A surprising number of people live in, live in, uh, in these private villages really they have 24 hour 24 hour guards uh, yes yeah, it's, it's nice so I'm gonna go walk to the, the local coffee shop get a coffee and do a little bit more work there's a local coffee roaster that's independently owned that I prefer to go to but unfortunately uh, uh, it's closed today so I go to Rosnion, which is uh, a chain. It's not too bad though. It's all right. It's just twice the price. I'd rather give the money to independent people. <laughs> Got my coffee. That coffee shop was full of a group of farang, Irish farang. It's so annoying. Really, really loud. It's embarrassing. Ugh, barbarians. Hmm. I shouldn't have got a coffee really, it's making me crave cigarettes. Uh, but I'm gonna push through. I'm not gonna smoke anymore. It's pathetic, it's weak, and it's uh, kind of the opposite of what I'm trying to achieve at the moment with, with financial independence and personal power. It's pretty hypocritical to try and, try and talk about those subjects when you're still mentally and financially dependent on Well, tobacco, and cannabis, and alcohol, coffee, and all of that shit. 
it's all gonna go. Okay, so it's time for me to, to do some work now, anyway, before I go out and see some, see some friends. Uh, until the next video, which is gonna be about cryptocurrencies. Bye.